This week on the pre-prep, we're keeping it simple. We're going to finish my Kraken and have a Three Floyds gumball head. I'm probably going to have a couple of these, but you know, that's the plan. The last time I drank Kraken, I got stupid sick. I vomited on my best friend's couch. And I feel like a dick about it. R.I.P. Kraken bottle. You basically got me through the season, right? Normally I wouldn't drink beer out of a glass like this, but all my beer drinking glasses are dirty. I don't want to do dishes right now. That's how you pour a beer. Let's drink, and I'll see you when I'm feeling something, because we're going to be talking about the Animatrix. <laughs> YouTube and welcome to another episode of Virus Movie Reviews, a show where every movie you guys just to go to movies and see it. Feel like discussing? It's not what the fuck this is. Hello world of YouTube, welcome to the drunk anime review. I also drank some scotch between now and then. I got four pounds of grease going through me. We're talking about the Animatrix! Animatrix is an anthology anime centric movie based around the universe of the Matrix. And personally, I think this is the best thing to stem from the Matrix extended universe. And I wish they would do more of this shit. Because I like the Matrix. I think it's a really tight science fiction action movie. The sequels have good ideas, but it falls apart in a lot of instances. And in the Animatrix, it does a really cool job at flushing out the world of the Matrix, the universe of it. And man, I just... Ugh. I love, I love this compilation. While it has its weak points, its strengths explore a lot of my favorite assets in, or subgenres within anime and, and aesthetics within storytelling. I'm gonna get this out of the way. My least favorite stories are Final Flight of the Osiris and um, M Matriculated. Uh, Matriculated is okay. It explores really interesting ideas of human and AI interaction. And it's by the, uh, the the Aeon Flux dude, which is really cool. And I'm going to be talking about Aeon Flux on this segment because there's a lot of cool ideas within Aeon Flux. But this has a lot of cool ideas. And Flight of the Osiris is um, something written by the Wachowskis and made specifically for this to bridge the first Matrix and the sequels. But it is a weak-ass story. And the animation isn't as cool. Now... One of the segments that I think is great, but maybe a little lengthy, is the second Renaissance Part 2. I love that they tell the story between the modern world and the Matrix so vividly. And I love the detail in, like, the stories of the court case with their robot homicide and how that case was, like, the catalyst to so much shit. But I think it goes on a little too long. Um, and I think it gets a little indulgent in its graphic nature of explaining and showing the turmoil of humanity. But it's essential to the Matrix. And it's a cool idea. And I like the animation in it. I love the animation in it a lot. But where I think this uh, this shines is with the, the character pieces inside the Matrix. I'm talking about a detective story, world record, program, even Kid's Story, which Kid's Story is the weakest of those character-centric pieces, but is really interesting because the animation is that is so awesome. It's got this kind of fluid roughness to it in Kid's Story that I really love, but my three favorites are definitely A Detective Story, Beyond, and World Record. World Record is really cool because it shows somebody breaking the bounds of the Matrix and it explores something like a world record defined in the Matrix. I think the animation is really distorted and disjointed in all of the right ways. I think it's a cool story and I think that it... it I love the sequence when he, when he breaks out of the Matrix and he sees the world. He does it out of his own volition. But I love the sequence when he's actually reaching the world record. And the agents are like forming around him as the other runners. It's a beautiful piece of animation. And I love the way it's done. I love how they just subdue him back to the Matrix. Um, Beyond is really cool because it's trippy. And I love the animation in it. 
I love the uh, I love the kids inside of this glitch in the Matrix. I think it's a really cool idea that I feel like was explored perfectly in Beyond. I love the writing in it. I love how trippy and weird it is, and I think it's I think it's a cool little side story um, in there. But my favorite, my favorite story, a detective story. I'm a big fan of noir. I'm a big fan of detective stories. Stems from my love of reading uh, mystery novels as a child and watching um, Scooby-Doo. I know we we'll catch that villain. But a detective story is such a tightly animated piece. It's a beautiful short film. I love the action near the end of it. I love the black and white stark contrast. I love the narration. I love the character. I love the detective character. And I love how he goes deep diving into this and finds um, Trinity. It's a great scenario because it just has this guy stuck in between the limbo of knowing about the world outside of the Matrix and the Matrix itself. It's a fucking cool story. It's got some sleek animation. It's got some good framing. It's got some good direction. It's my favorite story of the ones presented on this. Um, and the reason why I don't like matriculated in Final Fun of the Osiris. I like the ideas of Matriculated. It is interesting. Again, I love the animation because it's the Aeon Flux team. But I think out of the stories of the character pieces, it's just the weakest. I like the idea of a person exploring the mind of a machine to convert them into being sympathetic. It just, I don't know, it doesn't come together all that well. It's got some cool visuals. Same with Program. I think Program is also a really tight piece. I love the feudal Japan aspect. I love the interrogation between the two characters. And I love the animation. I fucking love the animation of that. I will say the ending undercuts the whole story, but everything building up to that is, is pretty choice. The final fight of the Osiris. Um, I just, I don't, I don't like the, the, the 3D animation. I just don't, I like, I think it looks fine. It's the same team that did Final Fantasy The Spirits Within, but it's just, it's, it's not as cool. It's not as cool as the others. I think the, like, the sexualizing, it's, it, it feels like a tech demo. The fight in the beginning feels like a tech demo. You know, I think the fights in, um, program and world, er, and a detective story are better. I think the violence in the second renaissance, while accessible points, is a better use of animation than Final Fantasy of the Osiris. Final Fantasy of the Osiris feels like just a shoehorned in thing to sell copies because of its glossy animation and the fact that it bridges the first Matrix from the other ones. But that's my beef with it. That's my beef with it. I think it's fine in some regard, but amongst these other great animated pieces, it is the weakest link. And it's the one that they like, it's right there. It's a dumb. That's the Animatrix. I've been going for like 10 minutes. Holy shit. I, I like this collection. I like anthology films, and this is probably my favorite, if not one of my favorites. Because I think it has a great variety of animation from a bunch of different studios, and it explores a world worth exploring. The Matrix. A universe so awesome, the Wachowskis didn't know what to do with it after the first amazing movie. That's my thoughts. That's the Animatrix. If you're wondering where Full Metal Alchemist is, it's coming later. The finale, I want to I wanna tie in my thoughts on its legacy and its legacy itself, some history, into the final part. So that's going to come later. It's not going to come next month. Next month, it's going to be a personal touch. It's going to be a personal, my favorite anime. I'm going to talk about my favorite anime next month. So hopefully, you're excited for that. I apologize for the intensity of this, but I'm feeling very energized, and I want to just bring some good shit to you. And hopefully you enjoyed this. Thank you so very much for watching. Thank you so very much for your support on here and on Patreon. I want to give a special thanks to my patrons for supporting this segment and all of my other segments for supporting the channel. If you would like to join their ranks, linked in the description, my Patreon, feel free to join. I got early access shit. I got all kinds of stuff for you guys to check out. So if you like it, join it. I'm going to get out of here. I've been Vowel Rack. You guys are going to get out of situations. I'll see you another day. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.